the second part of the low back, hip, and leg pain series, we will briefly touch on these two very important and serious causes of pain, muscle wasting and scar tissue. This is a drawing of the spine, and the muscles that attach one bone to another are the multifidus muscles that we mentioned in part one. What makes these multifidus muscles so important? Well, research has shown us that when a joint in the back is injured or functioning improperly, the multifidus muscles are affected. These muscles can become much smaller and much weaker very quickly. In fact, these muscles can become so much smaller that they appear to waste away. Now, let me be clear about this. The muscle doesn't disappear. It just gets so small that it barely functions. The result of muscle wasting is that you feel pain and it makes your back joints unable to hold a normal position. When this happens, you need to do specific exercises to rebuild these small, wasted muscles. In fact, some of your back pain may linger for years until these wasted muscles are strengthened again. The word that health professionals use to describe scars is fibrosis. As you can see, scar tissue, or fibrosis, can form in any tissue of the body. Scar tissue has four basic causes. The first is trauma, and that's where something hits you or you hit something else. Repetitive motion is where you do something over and over again with a part of the body. This is experienced by typists, athletes, students. In fact, most of us do something over and over again, and this causes scar tissue to form. The third cause is improper body mechanics. Electricians, plumbers, and auto mechanics commonly suffer from this cause. Sometimes they have to be in awkward positions for long periods of time, and these prolonged and unnatural positions can cause scar tissue to form. And lastly, we form scar tissue as we age. It's just one of the facts of life. Whether the scar is on the surface of the muscle or deep in the muscle, the effect is the same. Scars make muscles shorter, and this creates two problems. Short muscles with scars pull harder on joints than normal muscles. And this stops the joint from moving smoothly, which causes you pain and stiffness. If what I said sounds familiar, it's because both trigger points and scar tissue make muscles shorter. For example, let's say you have scar tissue in a muscle of your hip. As this muscle becomes shorter, it pulls on the hip joint. And this makes the hip move less than it should. In the third part of the low back, hip, and leg series, we will see how this can be a major cause of low back pain. If trigger points, scar tissue, and short muscles were the only cause of your back and hip pain, then a simple massage might correct it. But the story doesn't end here. Click on part three of the series and discover three very important and very common causes of your pain.